All right, guys, today I'm uh, going to do a quick little review. I was on a, that DHgate website. I don't know if you guys have seen it. All right, guys, uh, sorry for the video being a little shaky. I lost my tripod, uh, so I'm, I'm filming by hand right now. But I just had a uh, I had some packages come in that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, so uh, the Dragon Ball Z shoes have recently released uh, in, through the past few months. I got the uh, legit pair of the Gohan uh, shoes right here, you know, with the box and everything, the Dragon Ball Z box. Well, here, let me, let me move it up here. Yeah, you got the Gohan on the side and the shoes there. Very nice looking pair of shoes, but they're extremely expensive for my price range. You know, I spent about 200 bucks on these and I think they've only gone up in price from there. Uh, there was more shoes that I wanted from the same series, uh, the, the Cells and the Shenrons. Uh, but it wasn't feasible. The cells sold out right away, and they're already up at like 300 bucks. And the Shenrons are in the same ballpark. Um, if you want to buy them aftermarket or not aftermarket, uh, uh, secondhand, I guess people go online to these sites, to the Adidas sites, and buy all the limited issues like these. Uh, so what I found is since I'd been searching so often for the uh, for the Dragon Ball Z shoes, um, my Facebook feed would uh would show up with possible things of interest and uh, one of them was a site called dh gate and they were selling some uh counterfeit or knockoff whatever you want to call it uh versions of these shoes so i, I went ahead and uh well i'll start off with this one i got the cells so we got the cell pro fears or however you pronounce it uh, pop both of those out now i have actually been wearing these uh well at least one of them i'm on crutches right now with a cast so i can't wear both uh, but so i bought the cell pro fears i think that's how you say it um very very good quality i would say uh for being a knockoff you know i spent 60 bucks on the shoes and uh i mean all together there are minor minor things that after like very careful uh, review uh, just comparing pictures to the of the real ones to these ones uh, very minor things are different they're different geez if i could speak right uh, things i've noticed are these stripes here are a little thicker and there's less of them with more spacing between them these are nice and thin like they should be still i think it's a little bit more spacing between the between them i think it should be a little more there that that would give a more purple color uh, and then back here these should be thinner with more of them and tighter spacing. And then back here, there should be a Dragon Ball logo. Um, and then the, the last thing I noticed was as you get the side profile, you see the, the front has a little bit of a lift. Uh, the back has almost no lift right here. I, I don't know what you call it, but the front of it, you know, you got a little bit of that lift going on there. Uh, on the legit models from the pictures, it looks like they both, it arches up way more in the front and back. Um, those are about the only things I can really find on them. Uh, material's really good. I have noticed, uh, you know, getting real close at it, you can see that glue line along the, uh, the bond where the sole meets the cloth of the shoe. Um, I don't know that it would be any better on the real ones, you know, looking at my Gohans. You got a similar thing going on there uh, where you see the the glue sorry <laughs> you see the glue right there where my uh where the sole meets the cloth itself of the shoe um so i mean all together i'm extremely pleased with the cell pro fears oh another thing sorry i forgot to say uh the insole obviously is not a dragon ball z theme like the gohans or like all the other shoes should be. So you see it's got a Dragon Ball Z original, or Adidas Dragon Ball Z original, if I flip it the right way. Yeah, I still have, I keep the things in there to keep the form. But yeah, so the that insole is obviously not inside these cell ones. Um, these were a cheaper pair that were available on the website. Uh, they were only, I think, like I said, I think it was like 60 bucks, 62 bucks, something like that. Um, there were more expensive ones. That came with a box that was supposed to mimic the Dragon Ball Z box. And then uh, I, from what pictures other people posted, they had the proper insoles. I've actually since gone and purchased a pair of those also uh, because I, I actually really like these cell shoes. And, you know, the cheap ones are cheap enough that 
it doesn't hurt to buy them. I can buy a few of these for the price of uh, one of the real ones. So, and then I also got the Shenrons here. Um, so let me pull these out. Again, the box is not a copy of the real ones. And let's get the box out of the scene, actually. We don't need that. So here's the Shenrons. Uh, again, a very good copy. The, the quality of them is exceptionally well. I mean, it's a very, very good copy. One thing I have noticed, this area back here, um, this is just going off pictures, uh, but you can see the, the paint line or whatever is not the best. It's pretty rough. You can see it bouncing up and down and up and down. Uh, so not the best paint job. And then I believe this material, these bumpy areas back here, I think in the real shoes are actually like a uh, uh, kind of a cushion that squeezes. These are just literally look like they're just cut into the, the sole. Uh, I could be completely wrong on that. Um, I, don't, I haven't seen a pair of the Shenrons in person. Um, but that's just my guess of the uh, reality of it. But altogether, it's, it's a really good copy. Um, I haven't gone through and compared online to see how much it really matches up. I don't know if this sticker is actually there. But, I mean, even the insole on this one has the Adidas Originals Dragon Ball Z going on. Uh, I did try these on for, like, a split second. And uh, they do have a really high arch, which I kind of like. I, I like a higher arch. Um, but, yeah, all together. Very good shoe quality, I'd say. And I think I spent uh, like 58 bucks on these. So for the price of them, if you're looking, if you if you don't want to spend that full, uh, probably about 300 bucks, depending on which size, because every size is different. I've noticed 10 and a halfs and 11s. These are both 11s that I got. Um, I've noticed that for the legit pairs, they cost um, a little bit more. And uh, so, I mean, you spend 50, 60 bucks on these. You got yourself a pair of them if you're just a fan and you really want them. I mean, I don't see any difference big enough to for me to complain about. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention on my cells. Uh, let me scoot these out of the way a little bit again. Um, so these are 11s. I'm Generally, I wear a 10 and a half. In my Gohans, I got a 10 and a half. Uh, they actually fit a little bit tight. Um, so I, I wish I got an 11 on those. So that's why I got these in a size 11. Since they are fake, uh, these actually, I, you know, I guess every company has its own way. Oh, geez, I've already messed up the sole. Uh, every company has their own way of sizing and everything. So the, the company that makes these fakes makes them actually run small. So this being an 11 actually kind of fits a little bit tight. Um, I wish... I had the option for a size bigger. The ones I got didn't have anything higher than 11. Uh, but on the Shenrons, they actually run large. So I got, again, 11 for these. And uh, there's quite a substantial bit of room in the toe. Um, but not too much to wear. They're not comfortable to wear. Um, so that was another thing. Uh, didn't show you the base of, or the bottom of the sole. The sole, it is actually that same pink color from the... Uh, the legitimate pair of cells. Um, but yeah. So I'm extremely happy. I would say if you were interested in buying a pair of these, uh, definitely go for it. Because I mean, the quality is definitely there. These Gohans, though, I've only seen one pair of them on DH Gate. And they were uh, like size seven or something like that. So you're not probably going to be able to find these in a size that you're looking for on DH gate if you wanted to buy the clones uh if you want to find a legit pair you can find them on sites like uh, a stock x is what i use to get it through but for these the shenrons um it's they've got shenron cell um they've got the uh the black shenron the, the these but black and gold and then they've got goku uh, they don't have gohan frieza or vegeta I'm probably missing someone in there. Oh, they do have the booze, but they are quite a bit more. I think they were like 112 bucks or something like that. Um, so, yeah, if, you, if you're interested in them, I'd say go for it. Um, I've run into no problems with the DHgate site so far. Um, so, yeah, good luck to you.